and welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you guys a video on a tutorial that I'm really passionate about it's gonna be not one but four different nail art designs that are so in right now and they are so cute and it's gonna be all about fruits and we're gonna have some cherries and strawberries and pineapples and watermelon of course they are so in this summer I've been so passionate about nails and nail art and doing polishes and whatnot. I've gotten into them around maybe high school because high school year I like literally change my nails every day to match my outfit and then just during college time when I started college that's when I really gotten into like more in depth within like all the nail art designs and the techniques and utensils and yeah all the utensils I'll be using today for this video is gonna be on the description below everything you need will be there so if you guys really really want to know more about nails and nail art and this design four different designs that I created for you guys that are simple and easy to follow please 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 stay tuned and watch till the end of this video because I guarantee you you learn a lot and you love these designs <sighs> For this first awesome cherry design, the supplies that you will be needing is a dotting tool. This dotting tool I bought on eBay. It was a set. I think it was five set. And it's a double sided so there's a fat side and a skinny side. Now if you don't have a dotting tool, the supply that you can find around your home that would do as good as a dotting tool is a toothpick. I've done this before when I didn't have a dotting tool and it worked just fine. When you were 16, next to your heart, next I'm using a striper polish and it's a lime green by Jordana. You don't have to have a striper polish, you can use a regular polish and using a skinny brush next I have this Essie red and it's called tween sweater set next I have this other Essie red but it's a lighter red and it's called lollipop for the top coat I am using Sally Hansen's dries instantly I really love this top coat because it really does dry instantly I will remember how you kissed me. I'm also using a white polish from Sally Hansen. It's called Hard to Get. I've already prepped my nails with a base coat and it's from Wet n Wild. This is to protect your natural nails before putting on any type of polish. I'm putting white polish in all of my nails except for the ring finger. I chose my ring finger to be an accent, so I'm using the twin sweater set from Essie. Now we're gonna get started on a cherry design. I have a paper here to put on the polish. It's gonna act like a painter's palette. Here I'm showing you how the toothpick is a great tool for a dotting tool. But using a dotting tool on the size of your choice, I'm placing two dots next to each other that are placed randomly around my nails. And for the details of the cherry, I'm just adding on white on the Essie Red Lollipop that I showed you earlier because I thought it would work but it wasn't light enough so I'm just adding a tad bit of white. For the details, I'm putting a smaller dot using the skinny dotting tool on the upper corner of the cherry where the stem is going to be. I'm 
by using this green striper polish or your skinny brush and a regular green polish I'm putting like a V shape on the cherry this will act as a stem and when your design is completely dry just add on a top coat to seal in the design and add a beautiful shine and there you go our first fruity nail art design our second design is gonna be a strawberry first thing that we will need is a red polish I'm using this Essie lollipop we will also be needing a green polish for the leaves it really doesn't matter what shade it is if you have a green striper polish use it but if you don't you can just use a regular brush we'll also be needing a dotting tool again you can use a toothpick for this and this one is totally optional I'm just gonna be using a Conad stamping kit and for the stamping plate, I'll be using this stamping plate from Restonia, which I bought on eBay, and it's really like just under two dollars. Of course, my nail art won't be complete without this Sally Hansen dries instantly top coat. I've already prepped my nails with a base coat to protect your natural nails, and two thin coats of a white polish. I am using this Sally Hansen hard as nails. I think it's called hard to get I'm starting with this stamping design all I'm gonna be doing is putting a white polish on the design that I chose which is the strawberry and then scraping it off with this scraper and then damping it on this tool I'm not really sure what it's called but all this tool comes in one set which you can buy on eBay or your um, local store out there. Since the design is on the stamper, you can actually just put this right on your nail. But I learned this technique somewhere on YouTube or Instagram that while it's still on the stamper, you can actually color it in so that when it comes out, the design is already colored. So I'm just going to be showing you this using a dotting tool I'm like coloring in the leaves part of the strawberry and then I'll be coloring the strawberry with the red polish sorry for kind of going out of the picture but all I'm doing here is just coloring the parts of the strawberry after I'm done with this I'm gonna be coloring the whole design with clear polish and then letting it sit and dry completely while my stamping design is drying I'm gonna be moving on to my other nails this is the one that has all just a big strawberry on top first of all I'm using this red polish and I'm doing like a heart shape and I'm going to be doing this one kind of like a half strawberry. Once the body of the strawberry is dry, I'm going to be placing some white little dots on it. On to the leaves I'm going to be using this Jordana green striper again you can use a regular brush and a regular green polish this is what the stamping design looks like and when it's completely dry I'm just gonna be peeling it off using a clear polish as a glue I'm just gonna be placing on that stamp design on top of my ring finger Then using this stick, I'm just 
dabbing on the sides to remove the excess design. Once all your designs are cute and pretty, you can apply your favorite top coat. I'm using this Sally Hansen, dries instantly. It can't be summer without watermelons, right? For this watermelon design, I started with a base coat from Wet n Wild to protect your natural nails. Then I painted all my nails with two thin coats of white polish. You'll also be needing two shades of green polish, a lighter one and a darker one of your choice. And also two shades of red, a lighter one and a darker one. You also need a top coat and a black polish. The other materials that you'll also be needing are scissors, Elmer's glue, paintbrush, a dotting tool, some tweezers, tape, and some sponges. First thing that I'm doing is taking my tape and cutting some pieces off. I will be taping the tip of my nails and then I'll be coloring the top of my nails red. That would be the red part of the watermelon. After I remove the tape from the tip of my nails, I'm just taking in the lighter green and coloring the tip part of my nails. This will be the green or the skin part of the watermelon. By the time I was done with my nail design, I've noticed that my camera died on me so I wasn't able to film the details of the watermelon. But using the makeup sponge that I had, I cut them into small pieces and dabbed the dark red and the dark green polish and then dabbed it onto my nails to add some highlights and details to the watermelon. Finally for the seed, I use a black polish and a dotting tool or a toothpick to apply it. Again, I'm so sorry I did not finish the tutorial, but here's the final product. And last but not the least, one of my favorite from this is the pineapple nail art design. I started with a base coat to protect my natural nails. Then you'll be needing a green polish, a yellow polish. This one's by e.l.f. and it's called Sunflower. You also be needing a silver glitter polish, a white polish, and of course a top coat. I know it's probably weird using school glue for this nail art design, but you'll see later on in the video how useful it is. First thing that I'm doing is just putting some glue around my nail because this will act like a shield and the cleanup process will be much easier then using a brush I'm just spreading around the glue there's actually a product out there that is easier to use I think it's called something like no mess but this one is a cheaper product and you can find it anywhere and it works just as good as those other products now using the white polish I'm painting my ring finger and my middle finger white because I chose these fingers to have the pineapple design. Then taking my green polish, I'm painting my pinky and my thumb green and then just leaving it plain as is. Now that the glue is dry around my pointy finger, I'm using a makeup sponge to apply this glitter polish. This technique is a more cohesive application of glitter polish. This allows you to have a more opaque application without having a thick layer of glitter polish. Once you're done applying the glitter polish, you can now remove the 
dried up glue and this you'll see how easy it is for cleanup. Woo! You also need two brushes, a really thin one and a regular one. Drop some of your yellow polish onto a paper. This will allow you to have an easier application. Now with your regular brush, we're going to be drawing an oval going diagonally on your middle finger. You can draw one or many like I did. This one will have the small pineapple. To the big pineapple, we're just going to draw a half oval going down on your ring finger. The yellow polish is all dry using a white polish. We're going to take the skinny brush and draw white lines going crisscross diagonally on the small pineapples. Now onto the big pineapple on the ring finger using the same glitter polish. We're gonna draw lines going diagonally crisscrossing each other like so. And for the final touch, we're just going to draw in the crown, which looks like a half crescent moon, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but just draw a, di a curved line going up and following it kind of thicker on the base. I meant you didn't know what and same thing to the big pineapple, just drawing a line going curving to the side and making sure that the tips are pointed and the base is kind of fatter. Finally, using a clear top coat, just paint over all your nails to protect your design and add a beautiful shine. Had to be your man Cause you know that everywhere I go I and your cute pineapple design is done. Girl, would you be my, would you be my Sweet little something, baby, we'll get by Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to do it. Well, anyways, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant your work. <laughs> I will check your work and I will, you know, maybe sh give you a shout out or something. I'm not a big, you know, I'm not big on Instagram, I'm not popular, but I do, I, I love my followers and please, if you guys do this design, please tag me. Um, and if you guys, I do have a separate nail art design. Uh, account for Instagram if you guys want to follow me there and um, please 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 tag me on your pictures and please use hashtag Michelle tutorial nail art for the summer no I'm gonna change that and be like uh show shells shells there you go it's gonna be a long hashtag but you know it's gonna be Shell Summer Fruity Nails because yeah, there you go. That's my final hashtag. Hashtag Shell Summer Fruity Nails and tag me on your pictures and I really, really would love to see your designs. And if you guys do something different or if you guys, you guys are probably gonna be better than me. But I'm gonna do something Yeah, 
don't forget to follow me on my social media. They're going to be down below in the description. Please comment anything you want. Anything, any suggestion, whatever, whatever comment. Bad or good, I really want to see it. I mean, not bad, bad, like, I'm ugly or something. But, you know, something. Something related to the nails. <laughs> not my physical features. From two places, worlds apart. You're into boats and works of art, but you're still yes. Okay, so yes, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you guys keep on watching. And I love you guys. Baby, show you I'm advancing. How to be your man? Cause you know that everywhere I go, I kinda lose control of how.